Hello everybody, Matt Hatter here from Legend of Illusions and SSZ Canada. We're having a look at Castle Rush um, in VR, which is a standalone game that we're going to release in the Oculus Store. Um, it will have a free demo and a very cheap but paid um, version of the game, which is going to help our development for Legend of Illusions. So I'm standing here in the menu. This is the first place you're going to end up. Um, I am a little far back. Um, in my play zone so we can see that I have the menu here um, exit if I press that it's going to close out the game settings is going to warp me around to the other side of this statue in case you don't have a large play, play space um, if you do have a large enough play space of course you could just walk around to the other side without pushing the settings button um, we don't have the menu for that built yet um, but it's going to have things like a copy of our website um, as well as um, the difficulty settings um, and a couple of other things um, that are settings related, of course, how to play. Um, there'll be a small video um, in case people haven't seen our development streams. So I'm going to go ahead now um, and hit play. So I'm just going to take my hand, reach out, and hit the play button. Um, the Oculus menus are not built out yet. Um, Oculus does it a little bit differently, um, comparatively speaking, to the 2D games and their loading screens. So we do have to go back and look at the documentation provided by them um, to see this. So I hope everybody is enjoying this. Um, it is a little bit wonky, especially in my headset, to try to watch this. So there's no way that I would want to release this as a, a paid game. Um, with a wonky headset like that. Now you can see we've added in front of us, this is the gate health um, and the obelisk health behind us. Uh, and I'm going to pull a lever um, and grab my bow. So in the first level we have 10 enemies, um, 16 arrows, and 40 HP. So, so essentially you have to get uh, 6, you have to get 6 um, of these guys with this amount of arrows. Um, they are spawning a little bit fast. I'm playing in what's uh, probably about a medium speed um, for the game. Oh, and I'm going to get my gate hit. Nope. Come on, get back. There you go. Um, so you can see we just, it's going to be a nice little rush of them coming at me. Um, they are coming fairly fast. How did I miss for that one? Come on. Get back off this. Um, so this is, I'm just going to let a couple of those hit. Um, I'm going to let that guy hit my gate, and then I'm going to open it up. Um, so you can see, I'm going to take some damage on the gate, and then quickly open it up. Um, so that we're now letting them through to the obelisk. Um, you can see the health has gone down, um, and they're getting through to the obelisk. I'm going to let that one hit, um, and take this guy out. Um, there you go. So that's gonna. Oh my goodness, where did he come from? Huh. He must have been underneath of me, and I was busy talking. Anyway, um, so you can see now um, we have the lever that you can pull. It open and closes your gate, um, and that is going to be because at some points um, from these sides, people like villagers or what have you are going to come out to try to help you um, and they're going to run out and maybe take out one or two of these trolls for you so um, you're going to need this. It's also going to tie especially into the multiplayer game um, where of course you're going to need to defend your base and then open your gate, um, lower the gate, open the gate to allow people to attack. Um, player 2 is going to be over in that far tower over there uh, and it will be a gate um, breach um, and we're gonna put another village in behind we're gonna rip out those mountains and put another little um, blue village in um, over there and move out that blue house so we'll have a red blue situation um, two pathways they'll both spawn uh, and you will need to kill them off um, at the same time you need to let out um, your troops to go and attack the other base. Your troops will follow down that pathway. Um, and whoever's obelisk is destroyed first wins, um, with bonus points being given. There'll be some matchmaking and stuff involved um, with that. Um, so I do hope you guys like the progress so far. 
we have, oh yeah, I forgot about the little shelf over here. So this little shelf will show you um, what enemies are coming up next. Um, as the levels progress, there will be more. Um, and as you clear a shelf, the shelves uh, will drop down to just give you an idea of, of what enemies are coming up next. Um, so you'll be able to see like uh, this one hit. And you'll also be able to tell which ones you missed um, just quickly looking over back at the end of the round, say, you know, you can say, oh man, I, I, I need to get better at that, that part of this level. Um, throw the arrow. Just kind of bounces around. It's hilarious. Um, so yeah. And you can see we've still got that bow from, you can still pick up the bow with whichever hand you want. Arrows with whichever hand you want. Um, and those orbs, we're going to finish adding the orb power-ups tomorrow. Um, so the way the orbs are going to work is you're going to pick a power-up platform in the settings menu, um, whether you want it to be on the right side or the left side. <coughs> uh, pardon me. It'll be on the right side or the left side. Um, and when you get um, an arrow through one of your power-ups, you're going to get stuff um, that appear here on actually why don't I just make it in the center and then I don't need to make a whole settings and two different levels for each now that seems right um, so you'll you'll have three power-up spots here um, and as you earn power-ups they'll be here um, you'll be able to grab a hold of them for example one will be uh, heal your gate so um, there'll be like a little hammer here and you'll you'll get it and maybe tap against here or just put your hand against there with the hammer um, and there'll be like a little spot over here to heal your obelisk the same thing you know you'll you'll pick your power up and turn around and and put it into the actually I brought the perfect one it's one of the items from Legend of Illusions um, it's a potion um, and we'll make a potion so you can pour it in and it'll go back down there it's, it'll look it'll look great in VR especially um, because it's got the liquid that moves inside of it. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys are as excited as we are. We're going to push um, to the Oculus Review Store for early alpha uh, building, um, hopefully by this time next week. Um, by this time next week, we should have submitted it to Oculus for review. Um, this is our first game developed in Oculus, um, so we're not quite sure what the development process is, is like um with regards to reviews um, but as soon as we do have some keys available for the alpha and beta testing um, we'll pass those out and of course we will be giving away lots of keys um, for the game in our discord channel which is uh, ssz.ca slash chat and that's going to give you a discord invite link um, and we'll be passing them out in our youtube and other streams um, as often as we can. I'm not sure how many we're allowed to give away. Uh, probably quite a lot. I, I can't see them limiting the amount of our game that we give away. Um, but I'm not sure. We'll have to look at what the Oculus um, store allows us to do and work for that. So hopefully you guys enjoy and you guys are excited and um, anxious to play this. We hope to see everybody um, downloading a copy on the first day. We'd love to see some comments. Um, we'll be sending out some very early release. Um, if you do have an Oculus, uh, Rift, or Quest, um, because it needs the room scale um, to play it. Um, so if you have a Rift or a Quest, please um, send us a message on Discord. We will get you a very early testing copy um, before we release to the Oculus Store. We'll be able to get you a copy. But you do have to join us in um, Discord in order to join that beta program. Um, so I hope you guys join, and we hope to see you guys in game and enjoy.